All right, chat. A question I get asked a lot is, Jeff, how do you build decks? How do you start and figure it out? And the answer to that question is really simple. If you have to ask the question, how do you build a deck? It means you're not ready to be building your own decks yet, and that's okay. So what I have done here is what you should do at home if you're asking that question, and I have taken a deck list from someone who is smarter than me, and we're gonna play with it card for card to begin, and we'll try and start forming some opinions after the fact. But I asked Precipic, can I please have a Galio deck? And I was sent this deck list via a deck code. So uh, let's uh, chow on some dragon chow and sh slam some Galios into play. And uh, enjoy some Rune Terra, huh? Thanks for the follows, Aquarius and Hat. Welcome to the channel today. If you're new, we play all sorts of card games and other stuff here. Rune Terra, Magic the Gathering. Do a lot of Pokemon Unite. Looking forward to poking at the new set a little bit. We played a bunch of NAR decks yesterday in the early access, so we're gonna play some Galio today. And a um, Trundle Trindamir, probably something controlling. Gonna mulligan these interactive bits, looking for some other proactive cards. New keyword here, formidable, means I strike with my health instead of my power. This is a 3-3 challenger for two, essentially. Although a neat dynamic of this is things like Vile Feast and Avalanche actually make this attack for less. The formidable keyword seems hard to evaluate exactly how powerful it is. A lot of, lot of context-dependent things you gotta consider. This card seems very powerful. Every time someone else has played this card against me, it seemed cracked in half, so. Oh gosh, speaking of cracked in half, with the, with the Broadwing, it's real good, huh? It's basically like three, three, and again, that's the is this good context is key type stuff. Yeah, this, this card's just a good rate, is definitely the case. Definitely true. Yeah, I really hope Fiora doesn't incidentally uh, become popular again. Not a fan of that, uh, that style of gameplay. We save this here. We get the faded, faded target as well. Oh, the chat's not on screen. Oh, I must not have had chat up at all yesterday. I had chat off when I was, uh, we were doing something. I forget. Oh, the, the event. We just attack for four here. I don't know. Can I, can I beat a ruination? I don't know that I can. Do we just like play this Shyvana? I guess if they play Trindamir, I'm sad. All right, we'll just open a text. Well, homecoming, um, homecoming isn't very good, or the homecoming deck got nerfed and it isn't very good against like the uh, spell shield type stuff that they got added in the set, right? You're not drawing cards. Please stop. It's a pretty aggressive use of my spells here, but I think stopping them from trying to generate some velocity into their deck has a lot of value here. Got me. This type of matchup is probably bad for us, I imagine. We're kind of mid rangey. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna lead on Wounded White Flame here. This is Ruination Bait. Maybe I should take the pass, but. Just Avalanche, deal. I am more than I see. 
They have second avalanche? Just whale, sure. I'm gonna open attacks to start, see what they do. That's fine. Hear that chat? Your king is here. Bow deeply. W and what's likely a hard matchup to start the set sounds good. Sign me up. Oh, the ladder, the ladder reset. I forgot about that. I was like, we were a diamond gamer. What happened? Oh, do I have prizes? Oh, I do have prizes, chat. I'm gonna take this one in a vain hope that someday they're gonna buff my gal, Leona. Dear, dear Rito, please buff my favorite champion. Ah, uh, the deck overlay extension, it doesn't work, so I turned it off. Season prices. This game gives you infinite free stuff, with Magus. I'm I'm still unlocking free stuff, and I've been playing for forever. The region the region roads like go on forever. Takes a real long time to get through all of them. Galeo Pantheon. Honestly, I think keeping the sand's pretty good. Wounded White Flame with Dragon Chow seems kind of cracked. Because the fact that, like, this. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is busted shit. Because this, this doesn't kill these. So, like, multiple people get to chow on them. Gobble, gobble. Fail you. Now our opponent's probably going to kill us before this value matters, but I feel good about having drawn cards.
<laughs> and this is gonna pop down and be a six seven. The best way to gain an understanding of playing Runeterra is to just do it. Just install on mobile or PC and just play some games. It all, it all makes a lot more sense once you have a grasp under it. Under it yourself. I could, I could throw some words at you, but you'll just be much better off. You just play a few games on your own. All makes, all makes a lot more sense. You hate the tempo of Hearthstone-ish games. I don't understand. So this game is more interactive than Magic. You you play every turn in Runeterra. There's no my turn in their turn. So I don't I don't think comparing this game to Hearthstone doesn't really make any sense. Because in Hearthstone, you take a turn and then they take a turn and there's not back and forth priority. You dislike the resource system, sure. Um, for for what it's worth, um, the resource system in Runeterra, from a play standpoint, with the saving resources across turn, has an incredible amount of depth. Yeah, if you want, if you want specifically lands, there's nothing I can do to help you. But all in all, in all, Runeterra's resource system is great. Hearthstone. Hearthstone does not do carrying resources over across turns now. I think I'm... Just like doing this. Do they get to uh, drop our big boy next turn? What does champion spell do? Oh god, it's just shield. Holy crap. This card's really good, chat. <laughs> like, really good. Come on, then. Let's get to fighting. Let's get to fighting. Bye, friend. That was fun. So who's next? Who's next? Yeah, if you're someone that enjoys, I don't know if you enjoy play, if you enjoy Slay the Spire style games, like single player card games, Runeterra actually has a full, full a fleshed out single player component. That's a good way to get in to learn the game a bit. Opponent, there was a new expansion that just released. Why are you playing Spider Burn? You play a lot of Slay, you should definitely check out Runeterra. You should, you should check out their single player mode for sure. My, my recommended way for people to poke into it. Not close. Won't get past me. It does. It's super new player friendly too. Our hand is pretty dope. If they don't break, they'll burn. Not blocking here might be greedy. It might have been right to cash one of these in as a game three. Chat, I know how card games work. Just let me deck shame my aggro opponent for half a second, okay? I was just deck shaming them, okay? We're so hungry, chat. We're so hungry. I 
think we're single combating this turn, huh? You might. Nah, I'm gonna play a dragon shot, actually. This can block the 2 3 for free. Um, I think this exchange is actually incredible for us. Like, anything they're doing that's not, like, any of their reach going anywhere other than my face is just like, yes, please, sign me up. I think I want to go wide here. Hey, thanks for the prime, AJZ. Appreciate the 13 months. Welcome back. I do this. It's close though. Uh, yeah, my kids, my kids play Runeterra. In, in fact, when the boys come into my office and see me playing a card game and ask if they can play one too, Runeterra is what I gave them. I, I don't let them touch Magic Arena. Chat, I I I make my living here on Twitch, but I don't I don't have like ninja money. I can't afford for my kids to play Magic the Gathering. Come on now. We going to five here. We're gonna die, fam. <laughs> I'm in I'm in danger. Oh, you're too late. Uh... If I would if I wouldn't have gemmed, I could have if I wouldn't have gemmed, I could have guiding touched and then single combat did the thing that they were dealing three with. Maybe that's the better line. I gemmed because I wanted to level Shyvana, but leveling Shyvana there faster didn't really change anything, right? Yeah, I think I think I I think my gem play the previous turn was wrong. I think I was supposed to hold up. Hold up the cantrip into removal. Honestly, this again seems great.
We're attacking at even, so we get to play this on two and get in there with it right away. Jace Heimer is like a mid-range controlling deck. So makes Dragon's Clutch is a good draw. That's probably gonna run a little long, I imagine. Sure. So technically traded up on tempo there. We spent two resources. They spent three three resources to answer our, our two resources. This is draw dragons just to grind here. If I don't play that there, you could only carry three mana over across turns. I was gonna waste a mana, and I think I just wanna be as resource efficient as possible here. I have a lot of things we're gonna wanna be spending on. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. Buckle up. Dragon blood to Marcin heart. Hey, big man! You ready to get in the <laughs> bum, All bum, day bum, bum. It's gonna be kind of a challenging turn next turn for us. You have saved your Jace by using a stress defense? Like, I accept. That just happens, unfortunately. Eat Jace here, at least. So I have 10 total mana here. Dragon into broad board wing, broad wing here. I played for a little bit yesterday, AJZ. I don't know. Seems like seems like a good range of neat ones. Galio, Galio seems super strong. They rolled a lot of quick attack chip. Gosh, do I want to take 10? I don't know that I do. Do this. Wait. Oh, quick attack. Quick attack messes us up. And I was like, why isn't it dying? It only deals one back because this reduces the health. Yeah, I think I think this is the line still, but if we just take two extra and leave this alive actually. Yeah, let's do let's do that. Wait. The wreck has a little bit of reach in it, so it could be kind of scary doing this. They are PNZ. Nine total mana. 
Do I white flame so we can Shyvana to can trip? I don't know that I do. I think I want a Shyvana so we can have the option to hold up concerted strike. Okay, and then I think we Dragon Xiao into White Flame post combat here. This interaction is just so powerful. It's like, why, why, yes, I would like another key trip. We gotta, we gotta kill him before he can double something up here. Doubles their first six cost, six plus cost card they cast each turn. This gets bigger from Faded. This gets bigger from Fury. bit of an annoying keyword for them to hit. Shit. Oh, that's so punishing. Brutal. And I get to generate a strafing strike now. me interesting that they chose to do that right away as opposed to waiting next turn to maybe kill it more mana And remember, this is formidable, so there's a chance that it gives plus three attack as well, basically. Actually, we just let this happen and then we play the other Galio out, right? Little, not quite enough to uh, to level up, but close. Okay, okay. Cooking with gas. <laughs> I 
That felt pretty good. That was fun. So who's next? Peppernick, if you're still here, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel this afternoon. I don't know what shell is gonna be best in, but Galio definitely seems like a very powerful, powerful piece of top end. Swain Vandal City. Yeah, Formidable has added e yet even yet another layer to okay my choices in combat matter in this game, which is really nice. Big 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 fan of uh, combat mattering. Technically takes an attack off him too. Sure. This seems like a huge win for us. Just the two guards to KO that. One of them was really good. Then we get to do the old white flame draw card, don't kill the dragon shall run back. This interaction is also great. Oh no! Only I'm supposed to eat the dragon shell opponent. Heckin' rude. They have another another flock. Okay. That's sad considering I have the guiding touch in hand, but it did draw a card at least. Nothing to do this turn, unfortunately. Let's take the pass. They're gonna open here, I assume. They're not opening. Seems loose. non-combat damage. Why is Swain leveling? What am I, what am I missing? Oh, it deals three, it deals three to my, my face, right? Next, his next is strike ability, sorry. That's what, that's what I'm missing. Yeah, yeah, and if I single combat, he levels before he hits me, which is really not good for me. Okay. Not in a great spot here. God, God bless the eye chat. Let me be like, wait, I need to do what? Yes. Okay. That works out. I 
I mean, this is still vulnerable, so... We, like, we, we made it out of that turn okay, but it's gonna really depend on, like, what their leftovers are now. They could, they could definitely, we could definitely end up behind from this spot, because we're going to their turn, and we're at nine here, and their deck has a lot of, a lot of reach in it, it looks like. I'm doing this first because if they have something like this, I can now sharp sight to save this and then we just trade off, right? On white flame here because depending on what they play out we might want to play screeching dragon if they have a, a leviathan oh we're just dead right you can actually just never beat this card if we had like concerted strike or something maybe maybe i'm supposed to save the single combat for this i don't know the gnar was pretty pretty gross in play uh, the swain boat Swain Boat definitely does other mid-range decks dirty still. Certainly, certainly the case. I mean, we were we were up on cards at the end of that game, Plaid. It's just the game wasn't about having cards. Like, they just killed us. A lot of a lot of Rune Terra games involve a lot of people keeping cards in hand. It's like you draw a card on their turn and your turn. All right, chat, they're going to flip a coin here and find out if they win the game or not. Ah, shit, they won the game. It's unfortunate. We'll get them next time, I'm sure. Heal the rush makes your mid-range deck most sad. That hasn't been my experience. A lot of the most of the good mid-range decks in Rune Terra tend to be able to have counterplay to that. In my, in my experience at least. The opponent's deck is kind of like the RNG casino of Rune Terra. They use this mechanic called Lurk, where every time something attacks, they uh, see if a Lurk card's on top of their deck, and if it is, they make their Lurk things everywhere slightly bigger. And Benny, hitting the blind Lurk on one gives them such a huge leg up. Obviously, this one they predicted into, so it's not really variance, but the highest, the highest variance is the first roll, or they don't have any control over it. Guiding touch, letting us uh, basically regain attack is really interesting. Just gonna go ahead and pass here, see if they wanna play out a lurk card. I don't really wanna attack my 3-3 three, three into their 2-3. They play out a decent lurk card, we'll get to go ahead and barrier this and then attack in. Ha-ha! 
we're just chilling for now. Sands a little scary. A lot, of, a lot of damage is coming across. The follow up princess and Jim and Jim. Just want to go to four here. Oh, this thing's vulnerable permanently. That's super awkward. I think it's a try and find Shyvana angle. It could just be a play two things out angle too, though. Yeah, it's, pro it's probably just go wide, right? Because I went low, so I need to be able to make sure I keep their board clear. My shield is yours. My shield is yours. I think this deck's been my favorite thing we've played so far. Galio. Galio has a lot of, like, raw power in his kit. Very, very, very potent effect. We're at four, but they're down to three cards, and we have the lead on board, so... Okay, there's the screeching dragon I wanted for Christmas. Gotta, gotta kill Pike, right? Not dead yet. Probably dead this turn. Let's use them two lurkers. So if they have two castables here, we're in trouble. Oh yeah, that's totally lethal, right? There's one, one shy. Oh, this can't block fearsomes either. Barutal, and they have Rek'Sai on top. <laughs> I'm gonna need some mending. I 
posted. Oh, this. Oh yeah, I wanted to trade this. Someone in chat had mentioned this too. Let's try some Soraka, Galio. Switch things up, huh? Is the deck good or a dumpster fire? Uh, it felt fine. Most of the matches we lost were close. Not convinced that Star Spring is good. I think Astral Protection is kind of correct. Start with a few of those. Right. Let's give this a try. I actually, I actually haven't leveled Galio yet because every time he's about to level, people concede. <laughs> so that's, that probably says something. I don't know, I don't know what exactly, but it says, it says something. I mean, I'm supposed to mulligan everything looking for a better answer to you, early Teemo. It's like a souls level up. Yeah, kinda. Except this one only costs seven, right? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. The two drop challenger is very, very good. Respect. That card that card's just a new Demacia staple. It'll actually actually just be good everywhere Demacia is sold. Puff caps in my deck, chat. Stand back. I'll protect you. Huge fan of Yordle Smith. He always feels super clunky to me. Every time, every time, like I get that it's like kind of powerful, but every time I play it in a deck list, it just feels 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 wonky.
I'm just opening. I think I'm just opening. Cut off some of these traps at the pass, I think. to die or will this one take three and heal me three does anybody know the eye, the eye can't show me this one which one which one heals me and takes damage all right chat seems very confident it resolves left to right so i'm gonna trust you The fact that it resolves left to right and you could arbitrarily reorder it by attacking and not attacking, I think is incredibly bad design. For what it for what it's worth. I think resolving left to right is fine. So long as you can't arbitrarily use the attack step to shuffle it around. Oh, we're super dead. Scoping the area. I can take it. All right, sixty eight traps and twenty eight cards, Chip. <laughs> oh god, we're dead! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, we lost a point of toughness so Galio didn't level shit. Oh man! Sag. I draw two, so I'm taking a lot. Draw before round start happens? Really? There's a draw. So their round start happens and then my round start happens?
You so if it's your turn, your round start stuff happens first if you have the attack token. Active player gets their triggers first. Okay. I really wish for stuff like that, Rune Terra had a rule book. Like the the la the amount of guesswork and like was this random or was this intended and I could have played around it is very frustrating. I don't think I had anything I could do different there. We just had to hope not to spike three plus puff caps. All right, Soraka plus Broadback should go a long, a long way in a matchup like this, I imagine. this one because it gets a guaranteed hit in. I assume they open here. Hello, really? We didn't open. I guess they went wide, but that seems good for him. Especially considering like this 2-1 plays into this. Another path, another this card's so good against aggro. They were trying to hit this twice. Now we get to do this. Oh, she only heals four. I was thinking she heals full, but that's her level mode that heals full. Is this formidable right now? This deck has has big, nice aggro deck energy, which I'm all about. Pain is nothing. Stand and fight. Yes, formidable is good into Sajani. Is accurate. You gave me no choice. Two 
16. Yes. Attack. <laughs> I will take one, two, 16, please. Just casual, most of Galio's level up all on its own. <laughs> oh my gosh, she dealt damage to himself and we rallied! <laughs> oh, that ain't right, Chet. That ain't, oh, that's... Okay. Okay. Hmm. That's a that's a good one. That's a that's a that's a solid synergy there. Yeah. Yeah. Big big nice aggro deck energy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Summer Paladin. I hope something like this is good. I've always really liked Soraka's design, but I really despised Raka Kench when that was a competitive deck. I'm not not a big fan of prison decks. I like I like what this is doing though. This hand seems good. I might also just keep all of this. You could you could argue Soraka makes the rockin' world go round, Chip. Yes, I was just thinking that this deck is probably a good choice in an anti-aggro lineup. Oh, I forgot to challenge their thing. Mistakes were made, Chip. Mistakes were made. We're clicking, we're clicking and talking at the same time when we're making mistakes. In my in my brain it was doing it automatically. Turns out I have to click on it. Weird. Rum is on the job. On the job. When did this thing get a six-pointed toughness? This is fun, yes? Oh my gosh. That's that's kind of messed up. That, that ain't right, Chet. <laughs> That's really gross. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> This card is very good. This card, this card has a lot of incredible synergies with it. This card, this card's good with Soraka too. Like, there are a lot of cards that just like had good defense stat lines, and this letting it hit with their defense is uh, it's real strong. Not wrong, Soraka. Well, that's gross. Huh? Uh. <sighs> remember, I'll remember to use our challenger this time, I suppose. Ah, 
I don't know, putting a bunch of damage on Brom doesn't seem very good. I guess they're gonna get to put damage on him regardless. Yeah, but they're saying I should I should hook this so this way when they attack with it here, it's only gonna have four toughness. Yeah, they have they have an attack token. A free block, so we're gonna heal with the Star Spring here. You haven't liked star shaping either? Okay. Yeah, I put um what's it called? I cut one of the star shapings for a for a third astral protection. These strikes here mean that Braum won't have enough enough toughness to actually kill my dragon with formidable. What's the heal and strike card? So if I sharp sight this, this'll die still. And this'll live here. Yeah. If this exchange works out, it's fine for us. The problem is I just like don't really have anything left over at this point. Like, these are like anti-aggro cards. My opponent's deck isn't that aggressive. They must have other pieces of interaction here because they tanked on this for a little bit, trying to figure out what exactly they wanted to play out. I am out of plays at this point, so... As you will, opponent. We're probably in garbage time. I guess probably accurate. Yeah, we're, we're flipping over to. Oh no, we're going to buy attack token. I mean, all right. Can we kill? Can we kill the architect? No, we cannot. All right, I think I'm done for the afternoon. It's about three o'clock. It's about when I was planning to planning to run to. I'm gonna go grab grab some chow. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Uh, we played a little bit of Nardex yesterday that ended up on the YouTube channel. If you're looking for more Rune Terra stuff for me, I'll be back tomorrow with some more live stuff. Everybody, uh, stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday wherever you're at.